As we get into the summer travel season, the regional airline association says smaller airports across the U.S. They lost 34 percent of their flight traffic since pre-COVID. And last night on Denver 7 News at 10, we reported on Pueblo Memorial Airport, which is among the 29 small airports recently dropped by United contractor SkyWest. So tonight, a closer look at why the changes aren't exactly devastating for the flying public. Now, regardless of Pueblo Memorial's future, it's not as if the residents of the Pueblo area will ever be stuck stuck. Denver's a two hour drive away. The Colorado Springs Airport is 43 minutes away. And the Colorado Springs Airport here is booming. Colorado Springs Airport, COS, has four airlines, American, Delta, United, and Southwest flying to nine nonstop cities daily. Sun Country will begin flights to Minneapolis, St. Paul in June. Between 2,500 and 3,500 people fly out of Colorado Springs daily. In December 2022, 80,485 passengers in plane boarded an aircraft here. That is 27% more than December 2019. The Colorado Springs Airport had a really strong 2022. We saw over a million emplanements, which we ended the year with our highest level of emplanements since 2000. Now, Colorado Springs is among the fastest growing cities in the U.S. and by some estimates, its population is expected to surpass Denver's by 2050. Its airport's drawing up a 20 year plan now to address that growth. Long story short, the future of COS is bright. Colorado Springs Airport has, has had a really strong 2022 and 23 is on par to be just as strong, if not stronger. Colorado Springs is a wonderful airport. They're going to continue to do very, very well. If COS is doing very, very well, Denver International is doing very, very, very well. It's the third busiest airport in the United States, sixth busiest in the world with more than 69 million passengers coming through each year. It provides 215 nonstop destinations to 190 domestic airports in 13 countries, and it's the largest hub for Frontier, Southwest, and United. I think Denver International is going to continue to be one of the uh, leading airports in the country and in the world in terms of passenger travel. DIA projects it will be serving 100 million passengers a year in seven years. Now, we've also reported extensively on the Northern Colorado Regional Airport up in Loveland. It's trying to build a new terminal to attract a commercial carrier, which it currently doesn't have. Well, experts say that Northern Colorado's population certainly could support a commercial carrier, but will it when DIA is just a 50-minute drive?